Welcome back. In today's medical moment, chances are you've got some unused or expired prescription medication in your home. This Saturday is National Prescription Drug Take Back Day. It's a way for those meds to be safely and properly disposed of. Spectrum Health is one of the community partners participating and here to talk about it. It's Dr. Colleen Lane. Good morning, doctor. Good morning. Thank you so much for having me. Oh, it's our pleasure and it's an important message. Let's, let's remind people why it's important for people to get rid of these medications out of their homes and not just flushing them down the toilet or leaving them in a drawer somewhere. Yeah, you're 100% right. This is a national day that started in 2010 and really the purpose is to give folks an opportunity to get rid of that expired or unused medication that they might have at home. This is a safe way to dispose that medication so you're not causing any um, environmental issues like you're trying to get rid of your medication on the toilet. Also, a medication that you may have you know, forgotten about is sitting in the medicine cabinet at home the way to make sure that that medication doesn't get lost, doesn't get stolen, or get mis misused. Those are all important things. Don't want it to be lost, stolen, don't want it to get into the water. Uh, many different reasons why. So this community-wide, it's a community-wide effort, right? I mean, it's not just Spectrum Health. This is, this is all over the entire area, correct? It is. It's actually a national effort. So luckily, we are one of the community partners in the area. Um, so we've got about three uh, centers in Grand Rapids where folks can, can go to drop off their medication and there's also six regional centers. You can go to DEA Take Back Day um, online and look for a spot that's close to you. But this is, you know, we are part of a national effort. We're just so proud to be one of the many partners that are um, making this great work happen. And obviously we have all of these addresses that we're posting on the screen. We'll also have at fox17online.com. How exactly does this work? Do I get out of my car? Is there a bin I throw it in? Do I hand it to somebody? Uh, do I have to show an ID? What, what should I expect? Yeah, so this is a free and anonymous event. You don't need to show ID. You can just come as you are with your vacation. It is also a drive-through event. So you don't have to get out of your car. You know, you can just roll down the window. We will be wearing masks. Um, we'll make sure that there's COVID regulations followed. We can hand us your medication out the car window and we will safely do it for you. Um, we'll also have folks there who can do education. So if you have questions about medication and also about Narcan, which is a medication that saves lives, it's an overdose reversal medication. We will have that free for folks as well. And obviously that sounds very convenient just in your car, put it on your calendar now for this Saturday from 10 to 2 because many different locations you don't want to forget. I know myself included have some of these medications in the drawers of my bathroom right now. Talk a little bit about Spectrum Health's overall efforts to curtail the circulation of prescriptions, medications. This opioids, of course, is a big hot topic. Yeah, so the DA Take Back Day is one of the many efforts that Spectrum Health has been taking for undertaking over the last you know, few years. We're also working really hard educating our providers about providing safe prescriptions to addressing like pain and acute and chronic pain. We're also doing a lot of community education. So we're taking a lot of, we're taking a lot of opportunities to make sure our providers and our community members know about these medications, know how to safely use them, and know about alternative medications um, that may work for them in their particular situation. Perfect. Thank you, doctor. Thank you for your time this morning and for all the great information. Of course, happy to do it. We hope we see everyone out there on Saturday. Absolutely. That's the place to be. There's the information on your screen. Once again, from 10 until 2 o'clock in the afternoon, you can go to takebackday.dea.gov for more information. Don't forget, Saturday, October 23rd, from 10 until 2.